All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. What I'm going to be doing today is we're going to be planting garlic here. Now, normally we plant garlic in our garden beds, but what we've noticed in the last couple of years, especially my wife is having trouble reaching the middle of my bed to pull weeds. Our beds are roughly five feet wide, and it's hard for her to reach towards the middle of the bed uh, when you're pulling weeds. So rather than putting them in our beds, we're going to put them in a well, I'm going to till here a row, a long row, 80 feet long. My uh, tiller is 20 inches wide. Um, so we're going to have a long, 20 inch wide, 80 foot long row for our uh, garlic. Um, normally, we get our uh, garlic from uh, oh, Falari. Falarifarms.com. They have, for, to my, in my opinion, one of the biggest selections of uh, garlic that's basically their main thing what they do uh, they also got like seed potatoes and things like that they onions and things like that um, it looks to be more all root vegetables garlic is their main thing wonderful selection you can look for your hard necks your soft necks um, ones that do better in the northern states some that do better in the southern uh, warmer states um, we are going to be planting a variety called um, Sicilian artichoke, okay? We planted these before last year and uh, they are wonderful. They're not really super strong. They're kind of on the mild side when it comes to garlic. Uh, if you want something really potent, get the, uh, uh, Sicilian, the, the Sicilian silver, that's what it's called, uh, from falarifarms.com. Sicilian silver. They grow like your, your typical garlic, um, but they are extremely powerful. If you like garlic, that's the one that they, to, uh, to get. They are almost hot, okay, beyond... Like, I, I like making a, a Sicilian dish called uh, pasta con aglia e olio. It's pasta with garlic and oil. And when you use that particular garlic for that, it is extremely powerful, let me tell you. So uh, if you want to get rid of some friends, eat that garlic. <laughs> but we're going to be planting a uh, variety called a Sicilian artichoke. It's got a nice big head on it. And the bulbs are, almost all of them are, are big. All right, guys, so let's get started here. I got to measure out where my row is going to go. And uh, we're going to go from there. Okay, so I'm done with the row here. All I have to do is amend the soil. I have a pile of composted wood chips, horse manure, uh, mushroom compost, and the uh, clean out from my chicken coop. All mixed in there, really good. We're gonna put that, a layer of that on here, a few inches or so. Dump that on here, and then I'm gonna retill that all in real good. Um, we have 10 pounds of garlic to plant here. Um, I was going to order only like four or five pounds, but um, 
I ordered late in the season, and because of that, my minimum order was 10 pounds. That's okay because we can um, freeze dry a lot of it. We can give some to friends and eat fresh too. You have to order early at uh, FolariFarms.com. Early, I mean like September-ish, okay? End of summer, beginning of fall. Order early, you'll be able to order like a pound or two or whatever you need, you know. Um, they, their shipping date is usually mid-November, uh, mid, mid late November. I got mine a little late because I guess they were tied up, they were busy. But um, we're in December now, beginning of December, so I really gotta get this garlic in here. Um, so let's amend the soil, get that going, and we're gonna start planting. That looks purdy. That's really purdy. <laughs> Whew. All right, now that I got that all mixed up or mixed in, now we got some good soil to plant in. One more secret ingredient I gotta put in there. Okay, so what is that secret ingredient? Right here, azomite. This stuff here, I put on just about everything that I plant, uh, prior to planting of course. Using it in my greenhouse, I had phenomenal results. And uh, some people, they don't care to use it, that's okay. The thing, the, the reason why I like it so much is, a lot of our soils here in the United States, especially the, the, uh, the commercial farming, um, that's dead soil. The soil's dead, they put tons of uh, synthetic fertilizer on there, chemicals, the bacteria in the soil is dead, okay? Even if it had minerals in it, it wouldn't, the, the, uh, the plant can't pull the minerals out of the soil because you need bacteria for that. Bacteria release an acid as they eat the uh, organic material and that acid breaks down the minerals in a form where the plants can absorb. When you got good organic material in your soil, you got all that, um, that uh, microbiome growing in there, the bacteria, the worms, uh, the fungi, all that stuff growing in their soil and, and living in there, they feed your plants, okay? And therefore your plants become very mineral rich and they're very good for you. They're healthy, unlike the store-bought commercial grown vegetables, which are 
taste like cardboard, it's because there's no minerals in there. And they, they look pretty, but they're, they're no nutrition. They're just void of nutrition, basically. Yeah, there's some nutrition in there, but not very much. Um, but that's why store-bought vegetables are uh, just bland tasting. And, but when you grow your own tomatoes at home, it, it, you're just juicy and sweet and they're delicious. Same thing here. I want to add minerals to my soil. I know this, is, this has never been farmed here, you know, other than what I plant. Um, but still, you want to add a little minerals in there just so you, it, it's like an extra insurance that your plants will have what they need to... Uh, to absorb all the minerals where you can eat them and absorb all those minerals in your body. So the only thing here, I've done many videos on here. I'm, I'm sorry, I've done a lot of videos about this. All I do is get like a cup like this and I just start sprinkling it on. And when the root comes in contact with these minerals and the bacteria go to work on them they will uh, dissolve the minerals in the form that the plant needs and i'm going to have some delicious tasty garlic come spring So after putting the minerals in, all I'm doing here is kind of working it in the first inch or two of soil. And, uh, and that's all there is to it. And after this, we'll be ready to plant. You know, I was thinking, you know, it's really sad, really sad. I'll get comments occasionally where people say something to the effect of why why go through why go through all the hassle and work to do all this where well, you can just go to the store and get vegetables there <sighs> boy you know I, I hear comments like that and it's really sad because they don't understand I don't know if they don't understand how wonderful it is to work the soil, grow some vegetables and eat out of your own garden. What a feeling that is knowing that you grew that vegetable and all that nutrition that's in there is because of you and you worked the soil, you amended it, you did everything and now you're enjoying eating it and your, your, your body is going to benefit from it. What a wonderful feeling that is rather than buying that junk at the store, I know we can't grow everything of course. But rather than going to the store and buying stuff that I know I can grow um, and it being tasteless, basically. Now, I know the situations where if you live in a really cold climate, you can't grow everything. Of course, in the winter, you can't grow anything. But when you can, you should. You really should. As much as you can. If you got a small backyard, whatever it is, you know, work the soil, plant something, you know. Some tomatoes, some zucchinis, squash. Uh, Whatever, radishes, whatever you want to grow, uh, whatever you enjoy in your salad, grow it, you know? So, yeah, it's, it's really sad when, when I hear comments like that with people just, I don't know if they're just don't understand or what's going on, but uh, I don't know, I just don't get it, I guess. All right, guys, so we're pretty much done here. All I have to do is plant and we'll be uh, good to go. So what we're doing here is separating the cloves from the head. And what I like about this garlic is that the cloves themselves, typically on, on your head of garlic, garlic, you're gonna have the bigger heads on the outside and the smaller ones on the inside. Well, these are pretty big all the way through. Here's a head right here. Let me separate this real quick. Anyways, you can see that they're, they're just nice, big cloves. They're really nice. 
Let me see if I can separate these a little more. They're just nice big cloves on here. They're beautiful. So that's what we're doing here. And then we're going to go plant them in the rows. So we have our 10 pounds of uh, garlic here. Uh, what we're doing is basically doing, remember the uh, width of this is roughly 20 inches and we're doing four cloves per row or per this row anyways and approximately six inches apart here so put one there now some of these this is one clove right here this thing is massive <laughs> uh, these are really big so that's what we're doing here four per 20 inch wide row here so we got four of them this way and they're six inches apart this way um, they're actually roughly six inches six inches apart this way also um, so that works out good and in case for those of you that don't know let me show one here that's pretty typical This is a clove of garlic. You got your bottom end here, and the top end is the pointy one here. This is where the roots are gonna come out. You wanna push this end into the soil, uh, roughly two inches in. The top should be, you should barely see the top of this at all, okay? Push it in about two inches, and, uh, and it should be good. Now it will be much easier to weed yeah because they get so tall and can't get in between you got more of them? There, well, this one's not gonna make it. This one, I've got, oh, got one more here. So then I'll put this in here. And I'll one there. That Boy, that worked out really good. And this one here. Another one here. Man, if that one was okay. We would well, let's plant it anyways. This one here, it's got all the skin off of it. Just wrap with this. Wrap this. We'll wrap it up. <laughs> 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 there we go. Put it in right there. Peace. You never know. Honey, anyway, we, we're like not even three feet short. Mm -hmm. Worked out really good. Got a whole roll and uh, 10 pounds. This is an 80 foot roll. Again, they're four uh, garlic cloves. They're about six inches apart and six inches apart this way. It worked out really good. Now, garlic typically takes, depending on the variety, seven, eight months, sometimes even nine. When they start growing, you gotta plant them like a couple of weeks before your ground freezes solid, okay? Uh, here, we don't get that. So typically, November, December is when we plant it because things start getting cool here. Uh, we don't really get cold here until like February, actually January, February. And if we plant it then, we'll be, you know, the, the garlic will go through the summer here, that 100 plus degree weather, and, and it won't, it won't, it, it won't like that. Uh, so we plant it here roughly November, but we're late, so we're planting it here in December. And by June-ish, you know, we'll, we'll be harvesting. Now harvesting, when the, uh, when the garlic starts growing, it's going to grow these leaves. They're, it looks like blades of grass, basically, wide blades of grass. Um, when the bottom half become all brown and the upper half of those leaves are kind of 50-50, uh, half brown and half green, they're done. They're ready to pick. And then just pull one or two, see how they look. And um, again, it's going to take seven, eight months, roughly. Now, as far as fertilizing, I would wait until they start growing. 
then you can start adding your fertilizer. Uh, watering, water them really good so it, it gets a, the ground gets nice and moist, but don't water them often, okay? When you do watering, water them, make sure they get a good watering, and that's it. And wait till the soil starts to uh, dry up a, a, a little bit before you can water again. So just don't keep it constantly wet and moist, it, it could rot. Um, what else? Uh, mulch. When they start to grow, what we're going to do anyways, when they start to grow a little bit, we're going to get some, um, uh, like leaf mulch and just put it around there. I'm going to go around my property, collect leaves, mulch it all up with the mower and the leaf vac that I have. And we're going to put that around, around on here. Uh, you could put even wood chips, but make sure don't put it on thick, just a very thin layer of wood chips. Um, well, if they're growing already, if you if they're they sprouted out, you can put wood chips around there. Uh, just make sure you don't cover up where it's growing. Okay, make sure it pops through the wood chips, um, and uh, that that will suppress all your weeds. You can use hay if you want straw. Um, it just keep the weeds down that way, um, and that's pretty much it, guys. And uh, roughly seven eight months, we're gonna have delicious garlic. We're gonna have a lot of it. Because you got to remember, you're planting one clove here, and one clove is going to equate to a head, which is going to contain many cloves. So we're going to have quite a bit. All right, guys, so thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video. Mm -hmm.